this morning we want to speak to you from the book of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah chapter 5, God is speaking to his servants. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 1 through verse 3. My topic to you this morning, a search for judgment, truth, and justice. When we look at what is going on for the past uh, days about the horrific crime that was done, uh, this man lost his life in the hands of those who should protect him. And we see the result of that, the demonstration in the United States and all over the world, people are demonstrating because of what they saw on social media and on the television and so forth. Now, we notice that people took to the street and they demonstrated and they shouted what they chant. They wanted their voice to be heard. What are they searching for by doing this? They are searching for justice. They are searching for truth. They are searching for right judgment. Now, the Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. The things that you see are happening, that people are doing today, these are things that was done in ancient times. Uh, we see Martin Luther King, how he marches on the street in the capital because he was marching for justice. Now, God had instructed his prophet to do the same thing. So we want to look at this scripture where God instructed Jeremiah in the days of the kingdom of Judah when the officials, the king and his men, they wouldn't do right and they would not give justice to the poor, the fatherless, uh, the widows. Uh, they would not give justice to the stranger. They would not give justice. And even Jeremiah himself received many beatings and put in jail because of injustice. God spoke to Jeremiah and God says to Jeremiah in verse 1 of chapter 5, he say, Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places Thereof, if ye can find a man, if there be any that execute judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. Now God decide to bring judgment against the nation because of their practices, because of what they were doing. And here God is instructing his servant that he must take the street, go into the street, go into the broad places, search, see if you can find a man who will execute judgment, who will talk the truth, who will give justice. God says, if you can find a man who will do that, then I will pardon the nation. Verse 2, it says, And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. This nation is a nation that uh, we claim that we call upon God and we serve God, but many who says that they are in tune with these injustice these 
bad judgment that are happening in the country that causes people lives and so on. God says, though they says the Lord liveth, they swear falsely. We heard people come on television and they said, I am a Christian. I am a child of God. I go to church. I read the Bible. And they are telling people to use forces against those who demonstrate for the right that they have to demonstrate peacefully and to say what they have to say. Now we know from what they do that they swear falsely because they didn't stand or they're not standing for what God says. God says that he would pardon if Jeremiah could find a man. But Jeremiah replied to the request that God gave him to go into the street. In verse 3, he says, O Lord, art not thine eyes upon the truth? Now God sees and he knows the truth. And when God says to Jeremiah, search to see if, a man, if you can find a man that execute judgment and that execute what is truth, he says, O Lord, thine eyes are upon the truth. God, you see them, you know them. He says, thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have not refused to, re they have rece refused to receive correction. They have made their face hard than rock. They have refused to return. Now, Jeremiah said, listen, God, you see those men. You know their heart. You know the truth. Your eyes are upon the truth. You know the truth is not in them. And so, because of that, they are doing what they are doing. Now, we would say, well, why these people take to the street? I'm not talking about the violence that uh, they, uh, some people do and the looting and all of that. All that is violence. God does not condone those things. But God says to Jeremiah, you go in the street and search. See if you can find a man who executes judgment. Go into the broad places, meaning the highways. Go everywhere in the city. And that's what these people are doing. They are doing something that God instruct his prophet to do in the time when there was no justice, when there was no proper judgment, when the truth was being trampled on. God instruct his servant to do this. Now, the truth must be known in order to give justice. People must have good judgment in doing what they are supposed to do. Because if we don't do what we are supposed to do with proper judgment, we are going to end up doing things the wrong way and it is going to cause trouble. But God sees this. He knows this. And that's the reason why he sent his servant, the prophet, out in the street. Out in the street where he knows that people would see him, hear what he has to say. He would get the attention of people. And so God send him in the street. Not in the temple, not in the church, but in the street. Many preachers, many pastors need to get in the street. Amen. And proclaim the word of God what God is saying against the things that are happening. We know that the truth is that we're not going to have true justice by men. We're not going to have true judgment by men. Men will do whatever they think is right. Men will do whatever 
pleases them. Men will do whatever satisfy their heart. But God says, a day is coming when he himself going to provide someone who would give proper judgment, who would do things the right way. And in Jeremiah chapter 23, God is still speaking. Verse 5, he says, Behold, the day cometh, saith the Lord, that I will raise up unto David a righteous branch, and the king shall reign. Hallelujah. God says he's going to do that. He's going to raise up a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper. It means no, no matter what anyone do or say, they're not going to be able to bring down this king that's reigning. God says his reign shall prosper. But listen what God says that this king will do. This is what he will do to the nations. This is what he will do to the people. He says, and shall execute judgment and justice in the heart. Hallelujah. This king that God is going to raise up, he will bring true judgment and true justice in the hurt. You will not have things happening under his reign like the things that are happening now. This king is a king of righteousness. This king is the Lord of righteousness. This king is the king that will give peace to the nations. Now we don't have no peace because of what is happening. What our eyes have seen cause our hearts to pain. Hallelujah. And we think about the things that we have seen. We wonder what will happen to our children. What will happen in the generation to come if there is no change. Hallelujah. So the demonstrations that are going on, not just in the United States, but all over the world, it's a demonstration for change. Because if change does not come, many, many, many more will suffer injustice. They will suffer. They will lose their lives because of those who will not do justice and do what is right. This king that is coming to reign says God. He says that day will come. Say behold the day cometh. Yes, it might be close by. It might be a distant half. But nevertheless, when that day come, things will happen just like God says it is going to happen. This king will reign. Amen. And execute judgment and justice upon the hurt. Not just in Judah. Not just in Jerusalem. But in every nation upon the hurt. For he will rule predominantly over the hurt. He will be kings, king of kings, and lord of lord. Amen. He will be the one that bring peace to the nation. He will be the one that cause people, amen, to walk in peace, to live in peace. He is the one that will remove the fear of the heart of many, that fear even today, that if they go out on the street, they might not make it back home. It's a sad thing to know you live in a country and you go out on the street and it's not of a surety that you will make it back home. It does not have to be robbers. It does not have to be violence. Amen. That take your life. But someone who should protect you. Has taken away your life. Leaving families mourning. Leaving sadness. Hallelujah. Leaving pain behind. God Almighty is looking down. Jeremiah said, God, 
Your eyes are upon the truth. You know the art of people. You know, Lord God, what they are doing. Jesus Christ came upon the earth. He is called the Prince of Peace. He is the only one that is able to bring peace in this troubled world. People are going to make trouble for others as long as mankind is ruling this earth. Because the arts of man are not right. The arts of man are evil. The Bible says the art of man is evil and desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? No man can know it. Only God can know it. And God knows the heart of men. God knows how they think. God knows, amen, what they're thinking. What is the next move? And though many says we want peace, but in their heart, they don't want peace. Many says we want justice, but in their heart, they don't want justice. The peace that they want is according to their own way of life. The justice that they want is according to their own way of life. Not justice according to the word of God. Not justice according to the will of God. And so therefore the judgment that they will execute is a judgment that comes from their own thinking. A judgment that comes from their own heart. A judgment that suit themselves and not others. Brethren, this is a bad thing that is happening in our nation. Our kids, they are looking on. They are seeing what is happening. And they are formulating in their mind ways to go against these things. And in the process, many may lose their lives. And it is okay for some, while others grieve. But today, God is saying to us, Hallelujah. We must love one another. Love each other. Amen. As God loves us. That is what God says. That is what God is looking for. Amen. This nation was founded upon biblical principle. But the nation is gone away from that foundation. The foundation of the word of God. The foundation, amen, that they form laws based on the scripture. Laws that God would be pleased of, amen, but they do otherwise. Hallelujah. Today we need to recant our step. We need to go back to the basic. We need to do that which is right in the sight of God. We need to care for those, amen, who are less fortunate. We need to do that which the Bible tells us we should do. God is looking at us. He's counting on us. He is counting that every man should do what we are supposed to do. We have to ask God to help us. We have to pray. And pray hard. Hallelujah. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I, God, will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. This land will need healing right now. Not just this land, but all over the world. Amen. The arts of people need healing. The violence that are going on because of the kind of justice that is dished out needs healing. We need healing right now. And so 
The Bible says, if we pray and seek God's face and turn from our wicked ways, then God says, I will hear from heaven, from my dwelling place. I will not only hear, but I will heal the land. If you notice, if you've been watching the television and see how they handle people who are peacefully demonstrating, how they spray them with harmful chemicals, how they beat them, how they drag them on the ground, how they put them in uncuff because they stand up for the things that is wrong. So if you cannot stand up for what is wrong, what should you stand for? If you cannot stand up against what is wrong, what should you stand up against? God is watching. His eyes, the Bible says, go to and fro the earth. is beholding that which is good. And he is beholding that which is evil. And God himself is going to execute judgment. Yes, God himself will execute judgment upon the land. Yeah, God will do justice for people. Those who has no voice. Those who have no one to stand up for them. Those who cannot help themselves. God will be their help. God will be their deliverer. God will come in time for them. Many has lost their life. It's so sad. But God Almighty will recompense. Amen. Those who should be recompensed for the evil that is done. Today, my brethren, let our heart fear God. Let our heart look towards God. Let our heart be humble before God that He can give us that which we need in such a time like now. Jeremiah says, God, you have done things to them and they harden their heart. They, they harden their heart as a stone. And because of that, they will not give justice. Because of that, they will not do right judgment. Because of that, they will not recognize the truth. But let us pray. We know that when we pray, God will move in a mighty way. God says it. If we humble ourselves and pray, and seek his face. Then he. He God. He will hear from heaven. He will forgive the sins. Of the people. And he will heal the land. Are we ready. To yield ourselves. To God. And allow him to begin the process. Of healing. In our land. And in our lives. Seen what has happened over the many days. Seen all the things that has transpired since the death of Mr. Floyd. Today, it should be a turning point. Amen. In our life. It should be a turning point in our country. And many are willing to turn. But there are so many that are not willing so many that their heart is still hard. So many that has hardened their heart and stiffened their neck. Amen. And decided, 
I'm going to live the way I'm living. And justice to me is the way I see it. Proper judgment to me is the way I see it. But brethren, let us pray that God will turn the hearts of people. God says that he can change our art, the art of stone. He can change the art of an evil man. Hallelujah. He can change the heart of those who are in leadership so that they can institute laws, so that people can have justice, so that the truth is not trampled on. But we have to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray. Hallelujah. And when we pray, God will do something. Brethren, let us be loving to one another. Let us treat one another fair. Let us treat one another right. As long as it lies in our power. Amen. Because God Almighty is going to bring every work into judgment. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. Every man is going to face a judgment day. And God Almighty is going to give out the reward. And he's going to reward every man according as his work is. He's not going to give a wrong reward to a man. He's not going to give a man what doesn't belong to him. He's going to give every man the reward that is due to him. So let us think about what is happening. And God is watching. He is writing down things in his book. And he's not going to write down anything wrong. The Bible says, and that day the books will be open. Amen. And from those Things that are written in the book will the nations be judged. So what are we doing about what God is going to write down in the book? Are we doing what is right so he can make record of it? Or are we doing that which is wrong and he will also make record of it? Let us do what is right. Let us do what is acceptable in the sight of of God so that God can be pleased with our lives. Our country at this moment need the mercies of God. Hallelujah. Our government need to know that God is holding them accountable for the things that are happening. And we need to pray for change not just demonstrate, but we need to pray for change so that God will bring about changes in this country and in the lives of people all over the globe. Thank God today for you listening this message. And I hope and trust that as you listen this message, you will think Everyone will think, amen, about what God says and that we will not only think but we will apply them to our lives so that our lives can be prosperous and bring glory to God. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bow before you today and we thank you, Lord, that you are God Almighty. You are the creator who created us. You give us life and health and strength. I thank you, Lord, for those that listen this message today. Lord, I pray, God, that you will touch the heart of each individual. Oh, God Almighty, and let your Holy Spirit convict the hearts of your people. God Almighty, you see those who are in power, they are in authority. God Almighty, and they are exercising judgment over the people, Lord. Lord God Almighty, I pray, God, that you will touch their hearts, the policemen, 
the governors, the mayors, the president, all those who are in authority, so that God, they may look for the truth. Uh, they may do things according to truth. And God Almighty, that they will render justice to every man. Lord Jesus, you see those families that are hurting. You see George Floyd family. Today we pray for his family. You see all the other families, Lord, that are mourning today, that are in pain today. Lord, I pray for them today. I pray, God, that you will bring comfort. God, I know it is hard, Lord Jesus, to have peace when such wrongs are done to their family. But Lord, you can give peace that passeth all understanding. I pray today, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will breathe upon them as you breathe on the disciples and said, Receive my peace. My peace I give unto you. Not the kind of peace that the world giveth, but God, a peace that comes from you. I pray, God Almighty, that you will give them peace. Lord, I pray that you will bless us as a nation, bless us as a country, O oh God Almighty, and deliver us from all evil. Lord, the kingdom belongs to you. All power belongs to you. All glory belongs to you forever and ever. And so, Lord, we thank you for hearing us today. God Almighty, touch the heart of those who have not known you as Lord and Savior. God Almighty, turn their hearts to you so that, Lord Jesus, they can receive you in their lives. Thank you today, Lord, for your mercies and your goodness. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless each and every one of you.